Hi there, it's me Claire. Um, today I have another Clifford book and this is Clifford the Small Red Puppy. Um, this is a really old one again. There's a lot of books that I have from when my grandma was a teacher. So I'm trying to look to see when it was published. It was published by Scholastic Book Services. Oh, September, this is the first printing, September 1972. Let me show you the cover too. So it's pretty old. Um, I'll get started. Hi, I'm Emily Elizabeth, and this is Clifford, my big red dog. Yesterday, my friend Martha said, your dog is very big and very red, but where did you get him? I got my dog from a fancy pet store, so I told her how I got Clifford. When I was little, I lived in the city. I didn't have a dog. One day, the man down the hall called us. His dog had puppies. He wanted to give me one. One puppy was smaller than the rest. I liked him. I said, I want this one. The man said, don't take him. He is the runt. He will always be small and sick. But I loved that little puppy. He needed me, and I decided to call him Clifford. He was so tiny that I had to feed him with a little doll's baby bottle. He is so, so tiny there. You can barely even see him. We got the smallest collar we could find for Clifford, and it was too big. Like around his waist, like a belt. When he began to eat dog food, we had to watch him all the time. He was so little that he always kept getting lost, even in our small apartment. Lost in the shoe. Daddy said Clifford was just too small. He didn't think he could live through the winter. It was very sad. That night I let Clifford sleep on my pillow. I told him I wish he could grow up to be a big, healthy dog. Then I told Clifford I loved him. She was really scared he wouldn't survive because he was so little. We all know how big he got. The next morning, he looked bigger to me. He seemed to have an easier time eating his food, and his collar wasn't so loose. In fact, by the time Daddy got home, the collar was too small. By bedtime, Clifford's teeny bed seemed to be too small for him. So I let him on my pillow again. That was a mistake. Whoa, he is growing so fast. Next morning, Mommy thought Clifford looked different. Daddy said, I think he is growing. I decided to take Clifford for a walk. At the corner, I saw a big dog coming. I knew I should pick Clifford up so the big dog couldn't hurt him. I shouldn't have worried. She forgot how big Clifford had gotten. Clifford really was growing. We ran home to show Mommy how big he was. Had our apartment door grown smaller? Oh my goodness, he no longer fits in the door. Daddy couldn't believe it. We put Clifford in the garden to sleep that night. In the morning, the lady upstairs called us. It was about Clifford. In fact, all the neighbors are starting to notice him. How could you not? He's huge. The landlord called the police. They came to see Clifford. They said Clifford would have to go. But how? He couldn't go through a door. One policeman had an idea. There was just one way to get Clifford out of our garden. We sent him to live with my uncle who lived in the country. I was sad. I missed my puppy and he missed me. One day we got a surprise. My uncle wanted daddy to come work with him in the country. We could be with Clifford. We moved right away. You can see his tail peeking out. Clifford was waiting for me. I said, Clifford, stop growing. You are just right. So, I said to Martha, that's how I got my dog. Tell me again how you got your dog. Martha said, forget it. She was like, that's too crazy a story to follow up. So, I hope you enjoyed Clifford's little story of how, um, how he was super, super tiny and grew to be super large.